Hi Scorpio family, happy Friday. I hope everybody's had a fabulous start to their weekend. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, share your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. If you would like a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment. I do accept Venmo and Cash App. These are free readings also. Um, so any donations are much appreciated guys. Thank you to anybody that has donated. Again, I accept Venmo and Cash App for donations as well. I also have a GoFundMe link in the description box below as well. Thank you to anybody that donated uh, to my GoFundMe link as well. You guys are amazing. Um, you guys, if you follow me, you know I'm preparing for a surgery this following, this coming week, excuse me. So, and it's been, I've been crazy. I've been a crazy person. I wasn't even gonna get on here and do a reading. I feel like my brain is literally jelly today. Um, I've just been going, 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 trying to get it together. Um, and so, um, and just get everything done that I wanted to do and needed to do beforehand. So, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even going to do a reading, but I was at the gym and I was getting downloads and I got home and I was like, okay, this is the last night we're going to do anything at this table too. I'm going to set myself back up in, at my tarot table in the morning. So I figured why not? Let's just get another message. I'm getting downloads. I didn't even get in the shower yet. I sat down and tried to get readings out and I got stopped. So I know there's stuff going on Scorpio especially with the message that I got. So I know there's an emergency message that needs to get out right away. Um, I know somebody's trying to stop some money shit for you. The Nine of Pentacles came out, the needing to trust your intuition. Um, somebody's trying to stop some type of financial stability. Um, it's like somebody who doesn't want you to be in the, the energy of being able to have financial independence or independence period um take it however it resonates something's going to be illuminated though to you okay so whoever this message is for the message i was getting was it's going to be illuminated to you archangel gabriel showed up with the moon card with my angel tarot and it basically represents divine revelation um right so it's spirit showing you right? That's a divine revelation. You're being shown by spirit what's going on, basically. You will be, if it's not happening now, I have a feeling it's going to have, it's going to go down this weekend, right? So that's probably why this message is important. Maybe that's why it's important, especially if it has to do with money, work, that it comes out tonight, okay? Because it maybe it has to do with the work weekend for someone. So side note, this came out to you before I started the reading. So we're going to start it off on a good note, <laughs> right? So four leaf clover, great, good fortune. So you're lucky. You're very, very lucky, Scorpio. When this energy comes out and it's, there's a lot of luck either now or coming your way with money or just in general right now. Okay, and this could be an energy that's also possibly, you know, rub somebody the wrong way or rubbing somebody the wrong way. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it and see what's going on. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. An emotionally secure loving family is important to you great good fortune good luck so something about home life your nest your your sanctuary um an emotionally secure loving important family being um this being important to you there's going to be luck something connected to this energy and luck being um important here okay persevere and you will overcome problems here in a situation. So if you've been dealing with some type of a situation here in regards to some type of home life situation where, you know, there, um, 
there's some kind of situation here where maybe things aren't loving or there's not a loving supportive element here. Um, there's overcoming whatever this is. There's some type of good fortune, luck being on your side in the situation. Um, I just feel like this very powerful, positive energy. It's almost like this blessing that can't be stopped. Okay. And maybe this is also why it's important to kind of get this message out because I've been getting this a lot period for my Scorpios lately too, you know, um, that, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like, bleh. I'm telling you it's okay. I'm in gym clothes. Who gives a shit, right? Who gives a shit? Get back to the basics. Um, I feel like I look like a slob. Nobody gives a shit. Um, Whatever's gone down, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end, Scorpio. All right, so. You know, I'm like looking at this elephant and like, um, I, I just had like the, a vision of, I don't even remember where I saw this, some kind of clip on the internet, I'm sure somewhere, but like, um, where this elephant waited for some kind of cart to go by with like sugar canes or something on it and like stopped it and got it off of it, right? It was clever. It figured it out somehow, right? So it's like, life experience made this elephant wise enough to figure out how to do this to wait to stop it to get it whatever right to, to make this whole situation happen i don't know why i just thought about that and it's it probably makes no sense it doesn't even sound like it makes sense i'm telling you my brain is jelly right now it's the end of the day i'm fucking old y'all sorry but like <laughs> um Basically, life experience has made this elephant wiser, all right, smarter. Um, this elephant, because of this life experience, this physical, mental experience, understands how to handle a situation now, is what I'm trying to say, okay? So you're going to be able to overcome a problem. Damn, that was hard for me to get out, right? Um needing to get back to the basics that fell down to the on the floor so scorpio that's all about needing to get needing to get back to the basics to me is all about um prayer meditation all of the things right that um we do that you know are for me the foundation like building a solid foundation right? Because when everything else is stripped away, what do you have, right? Um, if you don't have all that stuff, then you don't have anything, right? So building the solid foundation, um, getting back to the basics. This is where this good fortune, this, this luck is coming from. Okay. So we've also got romance, celebration, party energy. So a lot of fun energy too coming your way connected to this luck. There's some illusionary obstacles also. I just flicked the deck and saw that. So be careful, be mindful. Um, when you see 111 a lot to me, that's always a message of being mindful about what I'm thinking about, right? So um, if I'm, and it's funny enough when I'm, when I do see it a lot, you know, I could be stuck in like a negative mindset or in a mindset that's not really productive to things that I want to be manifesting in my life. And I feel like a lot of times when that happens, if I'm seeing that one, one, one like that, you know, it's, it's almost my ancestors, spirit guides, angels saying, Hey, check it, right? Check it. <laughs> be careful. You don't want to be, you know, manifesting certain things into your life that you don't want. Right. So that keep in mind, right? It's that, that law of attraction. We are what we think. Be in the here and now, Scorpio. 
and be really careful about creating any illusionary obstacles at this time. To me, illusionary obstacles are those things that we make up in our head that are not true, right? Whatever that might be that end up causing issues in our life that just aren't necessary, okay? Could be insecurities or, you know, this is saying the importance of sleep. So just things that are coming up just simply because you're just too tired, right? And you're reactive or you're sensitive or there's something going on here because you just simply need to take better care of yourself. It's just that simple for someone because that shot out. Okay, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? What other messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios? Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Earlier, I talked about this in the reading. This came out earlier too. Somebody's being stubborn when it comes to, in regards to some type of healing work. It's like, it's, it's something that has to do with your ego. You're taking it as like, oh, there's something wrong with me. I've got to do healing work. No, everybody fucking has healing work to do. I'm not cussing at you. I'm just saying it like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm saying it that way, but like we all, we're, we're always evolving. We're always healing, right? There's always, you know, nobody's perfect, right? Um, so we're all human beings. There's always something that we're healing within ourselves, right? So, but some of us have more traumas to heal than others, right? So there's somebody's being stubborn in regards to needing to heal something um, and not taking the time to do it. Okay. Um, why this is showing up, I don't know. And if it's not just the time, it could just be just needing to do something, needing to, um, you know, I mean, it could be something as simple as the time, but you know, just not doing it. And it can, it can really be something as simple as sitting down, watching a guided healing your inner child YouTube meditation for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, right? Letting somebody like walk you through how to do it, whatever, right? It could something that simple if you don't know where to start. Okay. So there's just an energy here of, it's like, you know, I get it. Fixed energy is stubborn energy. I'm a fixed sign. I'm very stubborn. Um, but the more resistant you are with this energy, Scorpio, I feel like it's just like the more resistance you're going to get with not with the change that you want, not getting the change that you want in your life. Okay. Because there's, there's something here in regards to, I feel like it has to do with, um, it could even be like the type of loving, supportive family vibe, home life that you want, right? It could be having to heal something from even some type of tri childhood trauma, releasing some type of, I don't know, shit that has to do with that, right? I don't know, in order to attract something healthier for your own home life, okay? Yeah, okay, look, we have nurturing and compassionate energy or nurture, be nurturing and compassionate to yourself is what I'm getting. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Divine intervention. I, I feel it. So something's going on, you know, something's going to be revealed. Okay. Something's going on here in a situation where there's divine intervention. Something's being revealed. I do feel like it's for your best interest. I feel like there's going to be a happy outcome or you're going to ha overcome a problem, a happy outcome to a situation. You're going to overcome a problem. There's great good fortune here. Great or good luck, excuse me, with the four leaf clover. Um, six of swords is what I just saw too when I split the deck. So there's really the energy too of you really 
moving away from chaos drama. Um, here's divine intervention. So what else can you tell us, Spirit, in regards to this reading for Scorpio? know what you're really surprised um there's something that happens here it's like some type of surprise situation you're being protected here Divine intervention protected here. Divine, something happens where there's been some type of energy here with the devil. This is why I got quiet. I'm sorry. I've been trying to, um, let me see. I want to, I want to see what this energy is. What is this devil energy? This is somebody, the emperor in reverse, who's been some sort of a tyrant. That's what I felt. There's something happening here. Something coming to light. Something. This is somebody who's been some sort of... Okay. So, like somebody's done something here. Like somebody's been a tyrant. Just an asshole. There's divine intervention here. Something you're like, there's temperance being protected, surprise, something shocking, but it's like, um, you're being given some type of knowledge here by spirit from spirit about your fate. This is shocking, surprising. It's like, um, this is why there's divine intervention here. There's something, it's like important. It's in, it, whatever you're here to do. I mean, you're important, right? We're all important, but there, it's like, there's something here. You're being given knowledge. Here's the owl. I'm looking at the owl. That, that, that means wisdom or represents wisdom, spiritual wisdom. There's something here. It could have to do with your lineage, lineage excuse me, um, heritage. I keep wanting to look at the book here. There's some type of knowledge here, gift. Anyway, you were dealing with somebody in your life. It could even be some type of an energy where it was like, um, <sighs> that's why I paused so hard and long for a second because it felt like somebody that just made me want to like give up the reading for a second. Um, it felt like, It was a weird energy. It felt like somebody, it's a tyrant energy. It's somebody that is just a complete and ruthless asshole. I don't need, that's not even the right words to describe this person's energy. Um, and the thing that came to mind, like I was thinking about when I was at the gym, it's obnoxious actually. I got home today and I checked my mail and where I park the salon that I work at, there's like a parking 
it's it's downtown where I live. It's in the downtown area where I live and there's like it's paid parking, but we're supposed to have parking passes. And for some reason, like almost every single day, I've gotten some type of a parking ticket. <laughs> and then like, I, 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 I don't know, like I have to give them to the receptionist and then she has to call and you know, I don't know, and fix it, but it's it's been kind of like, all right, now this is like borderline crazy. Like, why is this happening so much, right? So it, I just thought of that, and it was kind of weird. Like, I had that thought when I was at the gym. Like, that was like, I don't know. When I checked my mail today, I was like, this is ridiculous, but I don't let it bother me. But I thought about it at the gym. I was like, it was just kind of like this feeling that kind of got underneath my skin when I was thinking about doing your reading. So here we go. It crossed my mind again, this tyrant energy, somebody trying to fuck with you, trusting your intuition. And again, before I started the reading, the reading got cut off. We were talking about somebody trying to fuck with your money, your financial independence with the nine of pentacles showing up, right? So, um, and then needing to trust your intuition, something being revealed, divine intervention. Scorpio, you walk away. Six of swords, eight of cups. I feel like whatever this is, there's been some type of emotions or an emotional situation here for you with all of this, okay? Um, with the Two of Swords here, I feel like Spirit is saying, don't let your emotions get the best of you in this regard. Um, because there's a lot of luck here moving forward. With the Ace of Wands, things are about to really change for you. You're gonna overcome whatever these problems are moving forward. Divine intervention, things, it's like fate, lightning is striking this tree. I don't know if you see that, right? This is fate, this is divine intervention right next to this piece of work, right? <laughs> Something is happening here next to the devil and the emperor in reverse where this is being stopped. It is being stopped. This is no more, okay? so. There is a walking away. There's an emotional walking away. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. I do kind of feel like when this when this comes out, when things are illuminated to you in this situation, Scorpio, whatever this is, it is going to feel really emotional. Um, why do we have the Two of Swords here? Wow, okay, the chariot, because it's time to go, Scorpio. Spirit is saying, don't let your emotions get the best of you. We've got the Ace of Wands here. There's a lot of passionate energy here moving towards whatever it is that you're moving towards in your future, okay, with the Ace of Wands and the chariot energy forward movement, okay? It's time to move, it's time to go, basically is what Spirit is saying. There's a lot of luck on your side with this, whatever's happening, you're gonna be okay. the end of a situation here you might take a loss here it might be kind of cutting your losses taking a loss but with the king of swords energy this is also winning at the same time interesting so it is even kind of like you might even be having to you might even have to be having I'm, I'm telling you my brain is jelly right now you might even have to take a loss but at the same time with the king king of swords it's strategic planning thinking it this person is taking a loss, but they're also winning at the same time. This is thought out. Um, this could also be in regards to somebody's health, needing to, you know, do this. It's like, okay, well, I need to do this in order to stay healthy, maintain my health or something, even if it's a state of mind, healthy state of mind. Um,
by the tam by the tam <laughs> it's time for me to stop oh my god <laughs> By the time cancer season comes around here with the moon card and the six of pentacles, there's going to be a redistribution of energy, Scorpio, in your life. I feel like it's going to be different here. And see how we have the clocks turning times. To, just Everything's going to be different. Redistribution of energy. Cancer season is what I'm seeing. This is a divine, this is interven, divine intervention. Faded divine intervention. This has everything to do with who somebody is to what you're here to do who you are not saying that anybody's better than anybody else definitely don't mean that but i'm just saying there's you know look this is somebody who's very spiritually gifted okay you're very spiritually gifted um i feel like there, this could have been I mean, you could, you're one of the chosen ones maybe or something like that. You know, you're, you're somebody who is spiritually gifted, meant to help others. And here's somebody who's been like trying to destroy you or fuck with you in some way, shape or form that's been stopped. Okay. Nine of wands. You've been through enough. That's what that means. This is the wounded warrior energy. All right, so I get why this was an important message. I'm going to go because my brain is jelly. <laughs> I hope whoever needed to get this message gets it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.